hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that uh, how basically we can export a dynamic pdf document using html template inside your angular 14 application using js pdf library and the file saver js library to download the pdf document as an attachment you can see we have got a button out there if i click this button a pdf document will be downloaded as an attachment if i open that document you will have name and the email address this basically we have uh, if you check the typescript code here we have set this uh, template here which is having the name and the email address and we have the new line character you can even embed two new line characters here now if i generate it we will now see there will be two line breaks you will see that you can customize this template html template guys and basically you can change the name and the email address to any name so thereby you can generate a dynamic pdf documents with these using uh, angular application so if i change the email address and the uh, now if i refresh you will now see the name and the email address will be changed here you will see that now i will be showing you that how to do this process so step by step for this tutorial i've given all the source code in the description of the video this is my blog post where i have written a complete blog post so let, now let's get started let me just delete all the source code and start from scratch so the very first thing you need to do guys you need to install two dependencies first is js pdf and you need to install uh, file saver library so basically if you go to uh, now just go to command line npm i js pdf js pdf and file saver file dash saver so install these two dependencies i have already installed it and uh, i will start the angular application and after this guys you need to move to the app.component.html file here and here we will have a simple button out there where we will have a button here so we will simply have a button label that generate pdf and we will be binding a on click so whenever you click this button we will generate a function which is uh, write a function which generate pdf so now we need to write this function so need need to move to app.component.ts file and here we just need to import two dependencies first is the jspdf dependency so import jspdf from jspdf and then we need to import the file saver dependency as well so import as file saver and uh, this will be imported from file saver that's all and now inside this guys we will be initializing an object here which will contain two properties here data object and this will be an object and we will have two properties here name and here you can give any name of your choice and then we have the second property which is email you can have as many properties as you want you can see that we have the data object here and now we can define that function which is generate pdf so now as you click the button this function will execute and inside this function guys we will instantiate a new reference of js pdf so we will see new js pdf we will initialize a new reference of js pdf and right here we will define our template guys so this will be content we can use the backtick symbol and here we will have the basically the template html template so we can say the name is we can use the backtick symbol and basically we will say this dot data dot name and we can close the paragraph tag and then we can define another paragraph here we can embed the email is and then we can embed the email this dot data dot email and then we can close the paragraph like this so this is our html template guys now we need to export this to the pdf document so we can use js pdf library for this so we can simply say doc.txt and we can pass the content and we can say 10 comma 10 the x and the y coordinate and here we can convert this to a base64 url using a method called as output and here we can provide blob so we need to convert this to a blob object so that we can download this as an attachment so here we will use the file saver library guys so file saver it contains a method called as save as and here we will provide the pdf blob object and here we need to give it a file name 
and you can give any file name output.pdf so that's all so now if you reload the application if it is compiled successfully so if you go to localhost to 4200 you will now see a button out there if you click that button you will see your output.pdf file you can see the name is the email is like this so I think this paragraph tag is also coming so we can simply delete that like this so now if you refresh it you can see that it has converted the HTML template and for the new line character if you basically want uh, you can see it is coming in a new line so if I say a lot of spaces if I do here then if you refresh you can customize this template you will see a lot more spaces will be there you can see that so in this way guys you can uh, export HTML template dynamic HTML template to PDF document using JSPDF and file saver all the source code is given in the description of this video thank you very much for watching this I will be seeing you in the next one